cracking, what's cracking? I'm out here in the UK, I'm Australia, Count the Tour, man, much love. And you know you rockin' with, man, it's a little easy e and me about that online, so we finna get it cracking, man. Peace family, so Juvenile would recently go on TMZ and speak about his Vax That Fang Up remix and the negative backlash that it's received. So let's check out Juvenile's thoughts and then we'll respond. Came together. Well, the day now BLK got at us about, uh, you know, doing a, a remix to to uh, back that ass up for for uh, the site, for the dating site. But um, when when I, cause at first I was kind of skeptical, skeptical about it. But when I heard it was about vaccination and, and convincing people before they go get, uh, you know, go out to date or look for a date or have any dates, they, they should make sure that that person that they're dealing with is vaccinated. And I just thought it was a great idea, and a great idea to get to some of the youths, some of the, you know, a lot of the people that look like me. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of us ain't, you know, well, I, I've been vaccinated, but a lot of us still not educated on it, scared of it. Just think about how many lives we will save and how many people that will go out and, and get vaccinated because of this. And, and think about, you know, uh, where we are at, as, as a people right now, you know, uh, we the last people to get vaccinated. So I think we need to really focus on our people and everybody around us and our loved ones and, and actually go get vaccinated. One of my guys, one of my close friends just told me this morning, his son actually went out and got vaccinated because he saw the Vax That Thing video. So I, wow. I, I feel like I've already saved one life. So it's, 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 it's already positive for me. Yeah, there we go. So um, as you can see, the background made by Juvi as a plug. That's Juvenile's um, furniture business. So you can check them out. Made by Juvi, which is furniture that is made. But on this vaccine note, and on the note, I've responded to this. You know, we sounded a bit nervous, you know, in regards to dealing with the app company to begin with. And, um, but, you know, he feels that he's done something positive where he says he's focused it on, you know, the black community because he feels that the black community will be the last to be vaccinated. Now, um, there is a lot of people who split decisions on this, as we know, it's widely reported all around the media and around the world, some people for, some people against with different reasons to why. Now then, we do know that it's highly likely that there will be a time that things may be exemplified because at the minute it seems that a lot of the conversation is based around go out and get vaccinated while you have the chance. You know, will there be a different implication later around, whether that be in terms of accessibility? We do know that now in the UK in some places there are talks of vaccine passports in terms of being able to enter certain places, crowded spaces and stuff like that. So we know that this thing is still going to be with us for a while in terms of the pandemic and how it's affected us. And um, is Juvenile right in saying we don't want to be left on the side of not having it and missing out? Or do you think that he's pushing a message that is erroneous? However, he says it's something that he believes in, in terms of taking it himself. And he's had positive responses from somebody who has come back and said that their son had went out and got it done because of him. Now, um, for the most part, I refrain to give too much opinion on the complete matter. However, there are multiple accounts and reports out there from many scholars and um, journalists and even just regular people that have left their thoughts on this situation as a whole. So what do you guys think? Is this something that you for or against? Do you think Juvenile's explanation was substantial and satisfactory enough? Do you think it was responsible or do you think he still was being irresponsible and being led by the money? So let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Peace. Peace family, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.